Hey, didn't see you there. Today, we're going to be doing the osmosis experiment with potatoes. So this is a required practical for all of you doing GCSE science. Yep. Very good. We're cutting the potato now. Making a big hole. Yeah. Remember, don't get your finger stuck in the top of it. No, no, Alice, no. You pull it out now. Yeah. No, it's not even in it. Wait, you can't even press this one because it's bad. <laughs> Alright, now you put it in. Ellis, no, no, no. Put it in this. Why did you get such a bad hole, Laura? Alright, it's a bit bent, that one. But it'll do. I don't think we need two potatoes. I'm putting my potato back. Can I pop a potato? Oh. So how many cylinders do you make, Isaac? Five. This one won't cut. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh right, that might be better. Oh, <laughs> it's number three of the stabbing through thing. Are you enjoying this practical joy? Very good, this. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is called a mistake. Made by Isaac. Oh, <laughs> this is called an accident. <laughs> this is what you shouldn't do in the practical. Where are the brushes? This is one thing that you shouldn't do. Now. We'll follow him on this guided tour. Now this has gone very wrong. This is the wrong thing that should happen. This should not happen in your practice. Do not do this. We are now cutting through the cork borer into the potato. Watch this. We will then squirt out the cylinder and make our fourth cylinder. That was a great shot from George Avery. We, we, we now have we need four hey, we only need, we only need four. No. We need one more cylinder. No, we only need four because we've got some more. We had that accident and that was number. We had an accident, um, courtesy of uh, Isaac. And, um, we're now going to make like all of the cylinders equal size. <laughs> Can you see? It's equal size. Now just check with your glamorous assistant, George Avery. Mm. You can tell George has done this before. Many times. So now you make them all the same length. Look at that, that is absolutely brilliant. And now we'll weigh move on them. to the next step. Weighing them. We're going to weigh we'll them. Fill up a bit with the stuff. So we're going to fill As these up with a salt solution. So we're going to start off with 10 milliliters of salt solution. No, not 10 milliliters. 10 milliliters of nothing. Okay, he's now weighing the cylinders and struggling because there's an error. Uh, good, good try, George. No, so, that's it. George Avery oh, is going gone? to weigh <laughs> the cylinders. So, I think this is right now. Here we go. We receive 1.95 1. 1. 1. Get that now in the book. Record 1. that. 1.95 grams. We're going to record that in our results table like this. Starting mass. 1.95 grams. There you go. 
So George, how are you feeling? Feeling quite tense. Now here we have a different mass. It's now 2.07. So George, you didn't do too well in cutting them at the same size. Why are you labels? No, it's because the last beaker was smashed by Isaac Wood. So just don't smash your beakers. We've now got a fifth beaker so we can continue. We are going to put the cork bar in and make our fifth cylinder of potato. So remember not to put your hand under the potato as you will end up with a sore hand. Uh, yes, George knows. It does actually really hurt. This should be on your risk assessment. <laughs> and this gone, where's it? It's there. Guys, you really need to be getting these are the solutions now. Once you've done, you need there to we go. those questions. Take that is about potato. the right size. I'll come to the end up. Now we're just going to equal the size. I'll say that's about the right size, yeah? And we're going to measure it. Would you so the final result is 2.02. 02. So these are all our starting masses. Thanks to George and Isaac. Isaac Wood is now going to label all of the beakers with the concentration of salt solution on. Moles. Right, do I put, get some of that? Yeah. I've got the mold. You're struggling to write. I hope you don't have the same problem with the pens, you know. Should have come to school with the right equipment, Isaac. I've got a pen. Yeah, but it doesn't work, does it? It does work. You check that every morning. It does work. I just can't do it. Right, you now stick the label on and write the fifth beaker result. So we now have all of our label beakers, all of our cylinders, our stopwatch ready, our scales turned off, potato, chili, and, and uh, yeah. So Isaac Wood is about to show you what to do. George Avery is now pouring the solution in. Very nice. George has now poured in 0.7. So we're now going to start the timer when we drop our cylinders in. Like this. Three, two, two one, one, go. go. We've dropped them in. And now, how long are we going to wait, George? 15 minutes. So we're now going to wait. Roll these cylinders in. 15 minutes, different concentrations. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Hello. Please, can you tell me the method for the osmosis experiment? Well, the method of the osmosis experiment was we get a big plunker tube. This is called. What's it plunker called? Tube. And you get a potato and you stab the potato with it really hard. And you get it to so make sure it goes through. On the potato. And then what do you do once you've got the cylinder, George? You get a cylinder and you make sure it's the same length as the other cylinders. Yep, and then you push the nail through the cork borer and the cylinder comes out like will look like this. Yeah. What do you do next, George? You put it in the salt. The different concentrations of salt solution which we've labelled. Okay. Very interesting so far, I think. George has been recording his results well. A top quality student. I've got a bit of a video. Hello. So, Isaac Wood has made a, a bit of a mistake today, but he's going to learn from it and he's going to get better. So, what mistake have you made? I was pushing the cork bar through the potato as no one else could do it. And I ended up hitting the beakers that were on the edge of the desk. Not the yeah, so he, he smashed the beaker and then it resulted in a smashed beaker. And he yeah. should be paying for that really, but they're going to let him off. But Thanks to Isaac for explaining his mistake, and I hope that anyone watching this never makes his mistake again. Right, so we're now going to give you our five minute review. We have got the potatoes, and you can see the water is definitely getting into them and causing trouble. So here's our five minutes review. Can you stop, can you stop taking ideas? We've got so some, as you can see, these white bits are coming off the potato, which is the starch of the potato. George knows that, and... Wow. So we've now done 15 minutes and we have finished our waiting time. So we're now going to check on these potatoes and see what has happened. So, no, remember which don't, yeah, I put a net, don't move anything. So make sure you remember which one is which. Ah, I can't get it out of my fingers. So this solution is very salty, so it may sting your fingers. Please be careful when you sting your fingers. It won't sting your fingers, well. 
Okay. Now the third is here. So can you notice anything different? No. Not really. We haven't seen much of a change here. Right guys, let's get these out please, no matter what the time is. Get them blotted, get them Right, so, so this is... What are you doing now, George? You're blotting I'm them dry. weighing it again. So he's blotted, blotted them dry. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. And he's now weighing the after mass. So, we put it on two. Two. So that, that might... I think that has bit. grown a mass a little bit. Let's just check our results. That has gone up by 0.5 of a gram. So that is not much of a change, but this time we've had a bit of a surprise. Oh, at one point we received seven. 1.77. What is the results we've received? Which one? The 1M. There's been a 0.05 change in the first mass, and the second mass there has been... This is 0.5 out of A 0.09 loss, which is a surprise. So George is blotting this dry. Blotted. And he's now put it on and weigh it. 1.81. And that was 0.75. So, that has gone down quite a bit, which is a bit of a surprise. So now, we've worked out all the results and we've got to work out the change in the mass. So, as the, for example, we've got 1.95 as our starting mass here and our resulting mass was 2 grams. So the change in mass is 0.05 grams. George, you're welcome. Thanks to Isaac. Big thanks to George for all of his help today. And a big thanks to Isaac for his help today. Here are the results.